I had three animes I missed during the entire spring season. Number one, Captain Earth. Number two, Noragami. And, oh, and Black Bullet, but I'm not watching that. Uh, yeah. Noragami aired in winter of this year, 2014, and I was recommended by uh, a ton of people to watch the anime, and I finally got to it. I felt like I rushed through it just a little, but I do only have like two days left to watch Captain Earth and uh, Mahoka, Coca, whatever the heck that last word is, um, before the biggest season in anime begins. So with that being said, uh, even though I did kind of rush through it, this is still a very good anime. Hiyori Iki is a normal high school girl. One day, she is walking down the street when her friends ask her if she has anybody in her love life. Being young and somewhat secluded, she says no, which prompts her um, to sense our main character, Yato, who is looking for a cat to fulfill his job. He carelessly jumps into the street, which causes Hiyori to push him out of the way and get hit by a truck. It is then revealed that Hiyori, after being taken to the hospital, will have her soul leave her body at points, even though she is completely fine. She meets up with Yato again to discuss how to fix the issue, and this is when we hear that Yato is a god who wants to own his own shrine and live a luxurious life. Um, and that's about it. That's the backstory. Uh, it's weird because there's not really a plot, but, but that's not a bad thing. <laughs> so that's how the story works out. So there's also some other things where we meet our third character, who's Yukine, who I'll get to in a minute when I discuss characters. But for the most part, I think the story is handled fine. Uh, there was no plot, so if there was a second season to this, I would like to see one, though. Our main group consists of three main protagonists, Hiyori, Yato, and a regalio, or a weapon, known as Yukine. There are, uh, side characters after watching Hitsugi no Chaika, though. Uh, this anime was a relief, because <laughs> every character was developed, or at least explained. Yato is interesting and funny, um, so is Hiyori, and actually all the characters are interesting. <laughs> I just hated two characters in the entire show. Now these are for personal reasons. Number one is Yukine, and for the first nine episodes, he felt entitled, he was selfish, he was whiny, and he was a jerk, and Yato suffers every time um, something Yukine does bad or a thought goes through his brain that is evil. Uh, this is the connection because Yukine is actually Yato's weapon. So the tie between Master and Regalia constantly hurts Yato and almost kills him at a point. Um, Yukine is pompous, like I said, he's self-entitled, and he almost made me lose my shit alone. But they pulled him together. <laughs> For episodes 10, 11, and 12, he was actually kind of an enjoyable character. I didn't have any problem with him. Number two is Nora, which is an ex-Regalia. Uh, this is what happens when you actually give your Regalia two names, they just become a Nora. But this Nora is the main Nora. You'll understand what I'm saying if you watch the anime. But, fuck this chick. Hiyori does nothing. Let's destroy her memory. Yukine sits down. Let's ruin his day. Yato loves life. Let's make him kill people. She's awful. She's more selfish than Yukine was. And I would say more, but I like keeping things short uh, in these reviews, so on to the next one. As far as issues with the plot go, I've only had uh, two questions. Uh, the first one is... They, they reveal in the anime that uh, when you're half dead, or when you're dead, or you're phantom, uh, only animals, children, the dead, gods, and regalias can see each other, right? So how did Hiyori see Yato before she was hit by the bus? Yeah, plot hole there. Mm. But it, it doesn't it doesn't distract the plot too much because you really don't think about it. <laughs> uh, number two, this isn't really a plot hole. But, I do feel that the ending of this anime was a complete ass pull. <laughs> like, um, how Hiyori at the end... This is a spoiler alert, okay? But I'm pretty sure some of you guys know what it was going to be. Hiyori, uh, gets her memories back at the end. Even though her memory w memories were destroyed and shattered. That is an ass pull. That is the definition of an ass <laughs> But then again, uh... Rabo destroyed them like a douchebag, so I guess in a sense it was only fair because he did break their promise of, you know, giving the memories back. Overall, if uh, this is my final verdict, watch this anime. It's great, 
it's funny too, and I, I can't believe it, but I laugh more in this <laughs> than I did in No Game No Life. Uh, if I had to rank this in order from like the best animes of 2014 so far that I've watched, it would be number two. It would only be behind No Game No Life, and the anime was pretty much perfect other than that ass bull bending, um, or bending, ending, <laughs> which is, it, it's debatable depending on what type of person you are. If you saw it the way I saw it, you saw that that was complete BS, but, you know, uh, that being said though, if I had to give Noragami a rating, I think I would probably give it, I think I have 10 on, out of 10 on this list, I would give it a 9 to a 9.5. I don't think there are some problems with the anime. Uh, like there, there is a, a couple of pacing issues, which is actually something I just skipped. <laughs> uh, it's it's odd to talk about pacing in this anime because, like I said earlier, there's not really a main goal. Uh, some episodes felt slow, but the story never felt rushed, which is that's the problem with the animes. Animes can get rushed, and as long as the anime is not rushed, that's fine with me. Um, other than the last episode's fight, uh, I won't spoil it, but it felt like a troll scene because it would build up hype, then it lowers it, then it peaks the hype, then it lets it lie down. And I think that if the fight went on for maybe like two episodes, it would have been more climatic. Uh, I think um, with history, like the powers that Yukine showed, I felt like the fight had more um, opportunities that it could have brought out. But that's just me, like I said, it's debatable. So other than that, though, the anime was pretty much perfect pacing-wise. And like I said, Noragami, for me, gets a 9 out of 10 without a doubt. So everybody should watch this anime. <laughs> because there's not much before uh, Gun Girl Online that, you know, or there's not much in the beginning half of this year that really came out. I'm watching Mahoku Reseti, uh, blah, 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 Mahoku Koku, no, Reseteo, I think that's how you pronounce it, or something like that. The last freaking word always gets me. But it, um, Noragami's only 12 episodes. It's worth it. I say everybody should watch it. Uh, that's my review of Noragami, or Noragami, because I'm trying to pronounce it right. <laughs> and I will see you guys in the next episode. Um, expect Gun Gale Online, when, as soon as that comes out. <laughs> Deuces!